Well, hello there, Pisces. Welcome to With Love Tarot Halloween Edition. I was just sharpening my claws. <laughs> I hope everybody is having an awesome October and a great Halloween season. Today, I will be doing your energy check-in and seeing where you guys are at, because you know I love to spy on you. And then at the end, I will be doing a mystery reading trick-or-treat style. So I put mini readings on each piece of paper here, and I will be grabbing one, so stick around till the end to see what you got. Please give me the overall energies and messages for my Pisces viewers and subscribers for the rest of October going into November of 2019. Please give me a past energies card, a present energies card, and a future card, please, for my Pisces viewers and subscribers. Okay. Lovely. Okay, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, we have five of wands. So this could be some type of playful energy that some of you are experiencing. This also speaks about competition. Some of you could be actually competing in something, whether that's at work, school, or sports. It's just a, it's usually a playful energy though. Coming into your uh, past energies, could be come you know kind of leaking into the present though we have the devil so some of you out there could have felt a little bit um tied to something right this is about either talking about a obsessive energy somebody could be obsessed with you or you feeling obsessed over something but usually i'm going to cl clarify this but usually this is also about being tied to something you know feeling very heavily connected to somebody or a situation and you feel like you can't break free from coming into your current energies we have the eight of pentacles love this card you are working hard on something okay you could be dealing with somebody with earth in their chart or an earth sign but many of you are putting the hard work into your profession, a hobby, anything that usually requires a lot of time and attention. This is also perfectionism too. So some of you out there are perfectionists and really working on a craft of some sort. This could also talk about literally saving up for a house or build, planning a house or your next move because we do have um, a shelter that this person is working on and building and he's putting everything of value inside it so again some of you could be saving up for something too and for your future energies we have the chariot beautiful beautiful card guys this is energy on wheels some of you are going to have forward movement in a situation if you've been if you've been feeling a little bit stagnant or feeling like things aren't moving fast enough, it's gonna move. Either in October or going into November, this is positive forward movement in a situation. I'm gonna clarify everything to see what other messages we can get. Please clarify the Devil, Eight of Pentacles, and Chariot. Okay, wow. Bottom of this deck for overall energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. I felt the urge to flip it. And um, again, coinciding with the Pentacles feeling I had here for your current energies. Some of you out there really are saving up for something, saving your assets, or working on getting more stability in your life. Beautiful energy here. 
clarifying devil for your past energies we have king of cups guys this is a i'm getting specific messages so this is a general reading please take what resonates and leave the rest but some of you uh, are dealing with a person with water in their chart or a water sign specifically this could be a fellow pisces um, this could also represent you okay man or woman this is feeling obsessive over somebody or obsessive over a connection. Perhaps somebody was obsessed with you. Um, and also, this could also talk about having some type of bad habits or, you know, overindulging in something. Okay, I'm actually going to take another clarifier on that in just a few moments to see if this is more about you or this is somebody else. Now, clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, we have the devil again, guys. So we have the devil twice. So this is pretty uh, prominent here. So some of you out there are dealing with somebody, uh, you could be dealing with a Capricorn too, but this is somebody, um, you could be obsessing over a particular situation putting all your hard work into something to the point of obsession. You know, you're really trying to hone in on something. You're really trying to get a project done. There's nothing wrong with that because that's a more healthy outlet for, if you're going to be obsessed, like that's a good thing to put your energy into. Now, clarifying the chariot, we have the emperor, which I love because sometimes I, when I think of whoever is on the chariot right and who's ever directing it you know you want somebody who has emperor like qualities this is a man or woman this is somebody who is very strong who knows what they want they're very ambitious this person has the universe on his staff right and all the zodiac signs behind him so i have a feeling this is your energy you are really the uh, master manifester during this time period you are creating your own destiny you know where you want to go and how to get there and you're going to get there please clarify please clarify the devil and king of cups and eight of pentacles and the devil Okay. Okay. Interesting. So clarifying the devil and king of cups combination, we have nine of cups. So a lot of cups here, guys. Um, if this wasn't about a love situation for you, which it very well could be, you could have been connected with a fellow water sign or just somebody that you felt extremely connected to, to the point where, you know, almost like an, an unbreakable bond, right? You maybe felt like this person was your soulmate and they might have made you very happy. If that's not your story, this talks about perhaps, like I said, some overindulgence of some sort because we have the Nine of Cups with the King of Cups clarifying the devil, right? So this could talk about some type of drinking or even partying and not necessarily you. This could be your energy, but it could be with somebody you're dealing with. And clarifying the Eight of Pentacles and the Devil combination, we have the Ace of Swords. So yes, some of you out there are really laser focused on a goal. This is really awesome. I love the Ace of Swords. This is about being able to communicate effectively. This is about, this is a yes. So if anybody out there is thinking of a question, you're, this is a yes answer. This is a positive victory in your favor too. This is getting to the bottom of something, clearing the air, basically laser focused on your goals. So I have a feeling that many of you out there are really perhaps obsessed with your current work or obsessed with your current tasks or whatever you're working on. It's a positive omen. Now I'm going to do your trick or treat. <laughs> so let's see what you got.
Okay, what's coming for me in November? Awesome. Okay. All right, please tell me what is coming for my Pisces viewers and subscribers in November of 2019. What's like a major thing that's coming for them? Okay, so we have the uh, Five of Wands, and I'm pretty sure we actually pulled the Five of Wands to begin with for your overall energy, which is really interesting. It's like we can't get away from this Five of Wands. So for some of you out there, this is just um, a little bit of playful or competitive energy. As you can see, there's actually they look like children or younger figures and they're batting at this beehive or wasp's nest, whatever this is, right? So usually in most tarot de decks, it is a younger energy because this is rarely about an actual fight. But for some of you out there, you could be competing in something is what's coming to mind. So if some of you, if some of you have a work situation where you're working on something that you really have to get ahead in, if you're in school and you're kind of competing with other classmates or competing um, just, you know, on your grades, something like that, this could talk about sports as well. Some of you are on sports teams. It's just an all around playful energy. The second message that's coming to mind though for you is some people could feel that they have to compete to get your attention, right? They might feel that you have a lot of suitors or a lot of options and that you're a great catch and they actually have to like beat off other people to get your attention. So I, I love it. I think it's, it's a very playful energy. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy Halloween. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with love. Bye.